Yeah, I was pinned to the floor with the light. It was across my chest and I was being electrocuted. Uh, I was being crushed with 240 volts. That's the only way to describe it. Uh, I knew that I was failing. I knew that I was fading. I was going to die. There was no two ways about it. I'd, I thought of a lot of ways of dying and this wasn't one of them. I got to the point where I realised that if, that if I couldn't uh, stay conscious, I would die. And I started to fade to black. I just started to go out. And it was at that point that I moved outside myself. Um, it was an awareness more than anything else of, of no longer being inside my body, but in fact being up near the roof, looking down at my body. I moved towards the door, and in moving towards it, I realized that the, the door was the answer to life and death. It was the balance. And I felt that to go through the door would be death and I would die, but to stand near the door and to just touch the light, to be bathed in the light, I could live. Um, it was just a mental decision that I knew was real. Uh, I got to the door and I stood in front of it and I moved into the light. And at the point of moving into the light, it was, it was the most magical feeling. It was a sudden revelation of just universal consciousness. It was as though uh, the whole reason for being here was there in front of me. It was just, I, I had every piece of knowledge that ever existed in the universe. I felt I had a mission. I hadn't fulfilled what I wanted to do on Earth. Um, I was probably a little selfish. I was enjoying myself immensely being on Earth. Uh, I'd just set up my own business and and I was full of a million concepts and ideas and I had a massive amount of energy to put into it and I didn't feel like being cheated out of it that early in my life. I'd say there's nothing on earth that compares with the experience of being at the edge of the afterlife. Uh, some things come close but that's, that's it.